Mm -hmm. Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to come and play around with uh, some of the storage containers that I got from Timo and also um, the storage books like these, um, sticker storage books and card storage books. Um, so I have a few um, ephemera pieces and things like that around my desk that I wanted to see if I can store them in these containers. And so I just wanted to bring you guys along and share um let's see so i do have this right here that was gifted to me and i don't have a place for it yet i had a few stickers that were laying around these are two little stickers here um and then i do have like um some of these rings like this that are to make um the keychains. I have a ton of those that I need to also find a spot for. Uh, and then I have stuff like this that was sent to me a long time ago by my friend, my best friend <clears throat> from Illustrated Faith. These are like little um, plastic clips um, that are great for probably journals. And so I kept them like this. I didn't have a spot for them. So we'll see. Um, I have some ephemera and baggies. And so I just wanted to see. So I thought that I would probably use this one here for the larger stickers. And um, so these here, which are in packages, I thought I would leave them just like that. And these are ephemera and then little tags. And then there's also these little pieces here. But I don't know that these will fit in the storage containers, like the plastic ones. So we shall see. These are the bigger pieces. I know these do, definitely do not fit there. So, um, let's see. I actually wanted this book, this book here for the larger pieces. So I thought about things like this. So this is also from Illustrated Faith, and this is just like ephemera, uh, but this larger one. And then I have like stickers like this, and like just phrases and words that I thought would go good there. So let's see. These are really pretty. Now the ones like this will probably not fit. This one probably fit the heart, the arrow. I don't know if this circle would fit. I doubt it. These will probably not fit. So I'll put those on the side. And I wanted to see if these would fit in here. Two at a time. And then I'll do these like this, the same. Then I can just add these. Okay, let's put in there and then I can add these. I don't remember how I got these, but these are definitely to cut out. And then I can just add this is also like a sticker um, sheet. Yeah, so this one is good for that, for the longer ones. So um, then these, I would have to find a home for these, the larger ones. And then I also have pieces like this, but I was thinking maybe the other one. <clears throat> this one here, we'll probably be able to store those. Let's see, the smaller pieces. Let's see. 
Okay, so this one doesn't fit. So we'll put this together with the larger pieces. These won't fit. This one will probably fit. So these are the smaller pieces here. Maybe I can just add these in here. Let's see. Okay, so I just have to organize these better to make them fit nice and neat. Because I'm just trying to just put them in there. So these okay so those fit good there and then I could just add these to this right next to that to that pocket and again I have to just make like a Little tab there to, just to see the opening. The only thing that I'm noticing now is I'm putting this in. I would have to, of course, make sure that it's upright like this wherever I put it because I can see these coming out. If see, so um, let's see what else. That's why sometimes I, I like these and I had an idea for these, but I don't know if this is going to work. Um, of course, I may still use it for like little stickers and things like that, but um, I really like uh, my plastic containers for my stickers because I do already have um, a lot of my stickers in these type of containers, not particularly this size, but... Um, I do like, and I can also store the big ones, which I like. So, for example, this one is the one that I just got from Timo. These fit. So, why separate them? Right? We just put them all in here. So, I think I'm going to do that instead. And then I'll just probably find something for these storage books. If not, if I can, if I see that I can't really use them, I'm just gonna gift them to someone else that could probably use it because um, those pockets. Actually, I wanted to mention also that the pockets do not fit ATC cards. They're a little too small, so they're mainly um, made for business cards, which they're too small. So, so I'm gonna add all of these to this one here. See, and I like that better. So, just want to show you the way that I normally have all of my stickers and things like that. So, I have most of my stuff in bins like this that I purchased this from Amazon quite a while ago, and so I label them. The good thing is that this one has like a stand that comes with it. And we can see that and so you're able to keep them nice and neat and filed and so I do label every single one of them that tells me what I have in them and so I like this better I keep transparent stickers in one all of my transparent stickers and I do have Tim Holtz in another and I like to keep the label just to remind me what it is I do have miscellaneous where I keep miscellaneous little ephemera there. I have AliExpress, which I keep all of my AliExpress stickers in there. So that's the way I keep them and I like it like that. So, um, and I do have um, three sets of these, a total of 18, where I keep all of my ephemera and stickers organized. So I think I like that better. I was trying to see if I could find another way to organize stickers, but I think that's the best way. And I can just go straight to them um, the only thing that these boxes are shaped a little bit different, so yeah, I just have to find a way to store these, but I prefer the plastic, so I think I'm going to go with that. So these are the Illustrated Faith um, ephemera, and I think I'm just going to add these two. These are Illustrated Faith um, clips. 
I like to put everything that belongs to one brand together. And I can just go through it when I need to. Look how super cute these are. And then we have these here. See, that's perfect. You can see what's in it. So I think I'm going to do that instead. And um, let's see. For this one here, I'm going to take... Is what's in here? No, I would have to take one of the larger ones again. And I'm going to keep them in the plastic. That's great there. Maybe I can put this in there too. The thing with these is I already have like... um. I already have um, similar ephemera like that in another plastic bin, and I just want to keep everything together. So let me see if I can find it. I think it's these. These are like my deco paper um, stickers. And so you see, they're kind of similar to these. So I'm just going to keep everything together that looks the same. And I did. Um, Get these from Amazon a while ago, and then these also kind of look the same as those too. Um, these are like devil stickers too. See, so I may eventually just put everything in here, but it is getting full, so some of this stuff may not fit in here already. Right? See, so I do have to get another. So maybe I'll just start this one too. This is two. Um, oh, I left them out here. Again, I do label all of my containers. That. that way I know. Um, I'm going to do the same with these. I may just file them like this. This way. Then I do have um, Tino stickers here. And I need a home for these. So maybe I'll just put these in here. Where I can just find them. So this is a total of three packs of the Tino stickers. I just mixed them in. And that fits perfect in there. These are kind of similar to Timo sneakers. These are the um the nightmare before Christmas. Uh, and maybe I should put these. So I do have like these little things here to leave. Really, these were gifted to me that I thought about putting away too. I have some Christmas ephemera here. This is more illustrated faith. I gotta put that in the other one. And then I have these here. And then I have these that I cut out. So you see there's a ton of little ephemera pieces that I need to uh, put away. So I'm gonna just add these. And um, give them a home. That's that. I can still add more to this. Okay, so let's see what else. Um, for these here, these are a little bit large. I don't know if these are going to fit. I do have one more large one. Um, let's see. Let me see if these fit in here. Because I just rather keep Christmas and Halloween stuff separated anyway, so let's see. 
this is a gift as well. This was this came in, in my Secret Santa package. Uh, this is not gonna fit. It's gonna fit. I'm gonna leave it there. So I'm gonna put all these little pieces together here. And these. And I know that this is all just for Christmas. Christmas ephemera. These baggies are really cute. I'm gonna keep those. Um, then I thought these here, which are from Little Birdie, but these are really big. This is just ephemera pieces. Um, I could put in here. Even though I do have little birdie, um, a little uh, plastic container for little birdie, but these, they're already full to the top and I'm running out of space for these little plastic containers. So I got to figure that out first before I continue to buy any. So I'm just going to put these in here for now, the large um, mermaid ephemera. These are really large. See if it's in there. See? So I'll do that. Okay, so so far I have uh, Tino stickers, Illustrated Faith, Ephemera, some more stickers in here, and Christmas stickers. Um, and I have larger Ephemera here. Um, so then I have these Nightmare Before Christmas. I can put these either with Christmas or Halloween Ephemera. these in here too. Okay, I'm gonna put this in here because this is um Christmas slash Halloween so I just need to find a home for them make sure that they're there and I can just see everything. Um and then for these here these are these things for um to make like a charm uh keychains so I thought about using this one here. This is from Timo as well. I'm just gonna do that. Store them in there. And I can find them when I need to. And this is perfect. Okay, so. And then I have these here that, these are actually, um, Ones that I cut out, I fuzzy cut every single one of these pieces. And this is from a 
card stock. And I actually did I fuzzy cut these? No, I'm sorry. I put these through the um through the scan and cut. I think I did these. Yeah. Some of them I did fuzzy cut out, but I think I put most I think I put I think most of the sheet um cut out with the scan and cut. So yeah. So this is really a, a sheet of a large card stock that you can cut out pieces out of. And so let me see if I can find a place for that. See, so these don't fit in here, and that's the problem. These don't fit in there either. So I have the girls. That one fits. So the Chris, the tree fits. All these little pieces fit in here. I don't know where this came from. So now I have to find a home for these big ones here. And then I thought about, um, possibly taking these out of this container here because if I don't, I'm going to put them away and I'm going to forget about these I know myself. So I want to see if these fit in this little container here. And I could put them where I can find them. And these also came from Timo that I showed in my sponsored Timo haul. And you can see, you can find those in that video. You can find these in that video, the just link. Interested. Yeah, so it fits nicely in here. Beautiful. So I can keep these in here, but I can find them. Let me just get all of this out of here. And then I have these, these are like little sayings and phrases and things, but I do have one already for this. Which is this one here. Um, and I'm thinking of just adding these to it. I wanna keep all my words and phrases together. I'm just gonna put these in the bottom because these are small pieces. And whenever I need to, I'll just go through with it, through it, and yeah. I'd rather do that and keep everything together. Um, so I have this extra one here that I can use. Okay. So yeah. So this is pretty much it. Um, I do have to find, let me see if I can fit this in here. I don't think it'll fit in here, but let's see, let's try. Let's see if this fits in here. So I can give it a home. No, this won't fit in there. That's okay. Um, let me see. Okay, so I'm just going to put it in here. There we go. So I have here to organize my stickers. I'm going to keep these together. And then I'll keep the smaller ones together. I do have this one, which is empty. 
and then I do have this one here. And then I have this one, I'm keeping all of my little um, glitter, um, little jars here. And then there's this sticker book, which I'm keeping. This is probably the only sticker, but pieces of larger ephemera. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, let me know what you think. Um, do you have any other ideas besides this? Um, so far, for me, this has been the best storage um, option for me when it comes to stickers and things like that. Um, the only thing is, is having space for these little containers, um, which I have already 18 of them on the top of my shelf. And so I'm just going to lay these on top of those and these as well. But I will need more space eventually um, if I keep buying these containers. But yeah, these containers are great for these type of storage. So um, this one here, I'm going to keep it right there too with everything else. But as far as these here, I don't know if I can really use them for what I intended to use them for. Um, these are really nice books, but the pockets are very small, so um, I guess you, I can use them just for jewelry, because this is what this is really for, I mean, earrings. You can store like, maybe I can store like little charms in there, I don't know, I'll figure it out, but, and if I can't make use of it, I'm just going to gift it, because I don't like to keep things that I don't make use of, it just, um, I don't have the space for it, so it takes up space, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas for storage when it comes to stickers and um, ephemera pieces, um, even die cuts, you know. If anyone, there, if anyone out there has any suggestions or ideas for storing die cuts, because this is the way I have my stored. They're all mixed up in there. This is the extent of my die cuts. And so, but I do want to find a better storage solution for these. I just don't, I can't think of anything. So if anyone has any, any ideas for that, I'll be happy to hear it. If you want to share it. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, thank you for stopping by again, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.